guys welcome back to my channel um just giving you guys an update like i said i would today is my dun 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 third dentist appointment and i'm um, still nervous but i made a lot of process with my teeth so before i had a big um i don't know if you call it an underbite overbite and my teeth would stick out of my mouth even with my mouth closed so it's been a week now since my Invisalign got put in and this is my new smile for now. So my teeth have went in just a little bit more from the side. I know you can tell but they were more like up and sticking on my lip. And now it's like this. So before it was like this. And now it's like this. So, I'm going to, um, well, right now I'm going to ask them about, you know, the little gaps. I don't know if you can see them, but it's creating little gaps to make space. It might be enough for my teeth to move. So, they said that's a good thing. That means I'm doing what I need to do. So, I guess when I get in, I'm just, you know, ask them again, you know, like, how far is my progress? How long do they think it's going to take? Because my teeth are moving pretty quickly. So, see you guys at the dentist's office. I'm going to be screaming, yelling, nervous because I'm scared. But, <laughs> see you guys then. So, here's my smile before Invisalign. And here is my smile now. Unfortunately, they wouldn't allow me to film in the dentist's office. So, this is the only video I have in the waiting room. I was waiting for about 30 minutes until they finally called me back a few moments later hey guys just came from the dentist i cried like a baby but my mouth is numb right now and i'm getting oil chains and i'm getting a car wash i'm gonna take you guys along they didn't mean to run my errands hopefully by then the numbness wears off and i can talk regular but so far so good they said i'm doing good on my investor line Everything's looking good. My teeth are moving right, so that's a good thing. So, March, I'll get my top in this line. Y'all, it hurts so bad. Like, she just like raised your left hand, and when it started to hurt, I was like, it hurts so bad. I can't move my mouth, y'all. Like, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. But I still gotta finish my errands. And I can go. These dudes trying to talk to me. I'm like, man, I just came from the digits. Can't nobody talk. They're trying to holler at y'all. Trying to holler at somebody. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I can't even talk right now. So. I'll check out on me with my errands and then give y'all another visit. This was a very much well needed car wash. Y'all, I've been neglecting my car and it's not a good thing. So now I'm heading out to the grocery store. Two hours later. Okay, so guys, I decided not to record me walking around the store because I got lost a few times, couldn't find a couple stuff. But here is the ingredients I bought for the pasta that I'm gonna cook. Um, so I got the tomatoes, the extra white egg noodles, um, 
my feta cheese in a block, my routine. And the final thing is going to be the parmesan. Just top it off to make it that extra cheesy pasta that I love. First, we're going to start off by putting olive oil in the pan, of course. So just drop it in. And then move it around. Make sure it gets all the way around the pan so it doesn't dry out. And you don't want your house to burn down. So make sure that you grease that pan or that pan down. Because I think I might got time for no burn down house, okay? Then I'm going to add my extra sweet tomatoes in the pan. Alright, so I'm just going to put them in the pan. And I, yes, my hands are clean. I'm cooking for myself, so don't do me but I'm just going to spread them around just to get them aligned in the right spot that I need them to melt into because later I'm going to crush them into the cheese all right I'm going to add the feta cheese in the middle now so it should look like this and then I'm going to add in my seasoning my thyme also got um cumin paprika can't say it right paprika and you know salt and pepper your basics so I add all my ingredients in and I'm going to stick it in the oven. Here is my pan for my shrimp that I'm also going to saute and make. And then after that I'm going to add my panela cheese. Alright so I defrosted my shrimp and I put it in a pan. Obviously I put oil down first. Then I season my shrimp and then I put the butter in on top for that extra zest. All right, now I'm going to add in my noodles. I mix both of my noodles together because that's the only pack they had left in the store, y'all. So I had no choice but to get two different types of noodles. So I'm just adding it to my boiling pot of water and I'm going to just stir it up. Make sure I just stir it so they don't get stuck and burned at the bottom of the pot because I don't want no burnt noodles. But I am going to cook them a little bit more because, you know, my teeth, so I need it to be a little bit softer so I don't, like, hurt my teeth while I'm chewing. And I'm just going to put the lid on and let it sit for about 15 minutes and then come back and check in on it. Alright, here's my feta and tomatoes in the oven now. Ooh, look at my shrimp. My shrimp is doing fantastic up here by themselves. Look at, look at that. This looks so good. All right, checking in on my noodles. Can't really see the fog. He's fogging up the camera, but mm, they're getting there. And I've added the half of panela cheese inside of my shrimp. So I'm just going to let that sit until it melts. Mm, look at that. It has melted, y'all. It's melting. So I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit more before I come back and stir it. Just one more time. Mm, my noodles are practically done now. They're cook overcooked the way I wanted them to be, so they can just mash right in my mouth. Back to my shrimp and my panela cheese. Mm -mm. Y'all look at that. It looks scrumptious, delicious, if that's even the word. I don't care. I made it up. Here is my feta and tomato in the oven. A little bit roasted. That's how it's supposed to be, so it's easy for me to squish it. So I'll mash my feta cheese and my tomato together and then I'm going to add in my pasta and mix it all in. So I've added in my pasta and I also added in my shrimp and panela cheese and now I'm just mashing it and mixing it together. It's supposed to be mushy and then I'm going to add in my parmesan cheese on top. Y'all, it's going to be so good. Alright, so I'm going to add my Parmesan cheese on top. So after I add my Parmesan cheese, I'm going to mix it one more time. And then after that, I'm going to let it sit in the oven for another 10 minutes. And then it should be done for the final product and ready for me to chow down.
So I'm putting it back in the oven for 10 minutes. And while I y'all, this is the final product, and I'm about to go in and tear it up. And I will list the ingredients in the description.